Odin Wolf, W. Machete. Hey guys, nice to see everyone. Thanks for tuning in and welcome to Doug Shoe Bushcraft. Odin Wolf W Machete. It's full tang, D2 steel blade, a TPE handle. I call that synthetic rubber. Got about a 10 inch blade, around 16 3 quarters overall. Spine Thickness is around 3 sixteenths of an inch. Weight of the knife is one pound, four ounces. And if you include the sheath, it's one pound, nine ounces. This model has the green handle with a subtle Odin Wolf logo. It's got nice texture on the spine, on the sides. And I like that handle because room for me to get two hands on it because when I get tired I might want two-handed grip. This hand is on there completely except for my pinky. I can hold it back here to get more leverage in the chop. I can choke up here for carving, whittling. Got a nice hard sheath. Again you got a subtle logo. and has a strap with a snap I usually don't use those. Maybe I would if I was going to climb a tree or swim across a river or something. But there's enough room on the strap that you can snap it to itself back here. There we go. Now it's just out of the way and I can pull it out. If I want to pull it out more slowly I can use my thumb. Got a positive lock. If you're really violent, uh, it would be possible to lose that. But, you know, I have it hanging from my belt and gravity's going to keep it in there. But it does snap. So I'll make a long story short. I usually don't use the snap retention, but it's good to have it. It's got a nice, generous belt loop for tool belt or Alice belt. It's got Velcro and a snap, so you don't have to take your belt off in order to strap this on. I like that. Got lashing holes if you'd prefer. You can lash it right to your pack or anything you so desire with paracord or cord of your choice. Alright, so this tree has been dead for a long time, but it wasn't lying flat on the ground. It got caught up on other trees, kind of at an angle. So the effect was it naturally dried in the wind, and it still has a lot of structure. Just a very outer bit, might be soft or dry rotted, but 
this is hard. See, it even retains a reddish color. I believe it's a fir tree. So, if you want to cut down actual trees, you know which machete to bring, guys. You know, it's not an axe, but a lot lighter than an axe. Easily fits in your pack or hangs from your belt and can do basically anything I need to do. Not only could I <laughs> build a bushcraft shelter, give me some time, I can build an actual cabin out here, right? So, I'm impressed so far. Okay, so Olden Wolf has done from the factory what I've done custom on machetes and large chopping knives for years and years. They put a more acute edge for like three fingers of the blade. So there's like a carving edge there, and this is your chopping edge. So here, the blade angle that's sharpened at would be more like a typical machete. And then here, it's a finer edge, a more acute edge. And a lot of people say, oh, I sharpened my knife till it's razor sharp. Not really. I mean, think it had a blade, the actual thickness and blade angle of a razor blade. The first time you swung it, I don't care what kind of steel, that would be it. You need a stronger edge, which is less acute for something for a lot of chopping. And I'm thinking, Odin Wolf got it right, but then I'll show you the carving edge. I mean, you could carve with this angle that they have, but then a more acute angle, more acute edge. Don't cut your tripod in half. <laughs> Just so much better. Getting big, fat curls. Let's see if I can do fine curls. Very, very fine curls. Excellent. So that's one less mod that I got to do. <laughs> Thank you to Odin Wolf for sending me that really nice machete. Thank you guys for joining me. If you like the video, I'm asking, please give me a thumbs up. You know, but if you didn't, gotta be a thumbs down. You know, I'm not trying to get something for nothing here. See you again soon. And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. 1 John 5, 11.